Hello, it's Stephanie with Coffee, Paper, Scissors. I am going to see if I can use up these scraps. Uh, this isn't all of them. There's a little bit here and there around my desk. So the last journal I made, I used a lot of this paper. And I have just a couple of, you know, big pieces left. I had a couple things that I think... Oh, yeah. I don't know. It seems like sometimes things don't go. This one doesn't seem to go to me, but it's part of the paper pack. Anyway, um, I have a little bit left and I want to use it up and be done with it and get rid of everything that I don't use. Um, so that's my goal. I want to try and do that. I don't know if it's going to work or not. I might actually have to throw away large portions. I, I don't know. But one of the ways that I store my scraps is when I'm finished, I put everything, generally I have big pages left, but I have used most of this. So I store them by sticking them inside, you know, and then I put them in like an iris case and that's how I store my scraps. For these paper pads, other scraps go in other things, but this is how I do it for a uh, paper pad. That way, when I go back to use the same paper pad, I have all of the things that go with it, you know, in one place. So I want to get rid of this thing entirely from um, my storage. So that is my goal. I'm going to take a drink of coffee. So what I want to try and do is, um, you know, those quilts, I think they're called crazy quilts. I think I want to do that on these. So I just cut some shapes from some book page because I want to put it down on something really thin. So we're just going to start with one. I think we're going to start with a tag and... We're just gonna go for it. I don't wanna think too much, but I don't know. I might end up thinking too much, but I just wanna use, use, you know? So these are, um, you know, it's gonna be like straight, you know, cuts for the most part. So I think it'll be fairly easy to just get things, you know, glued down, but I don't know. Sometimes things take a lot longer than I think they're going to. So we'll see. So what should we talk about today? I don't know. Um, I do have a nap or a paper towel, so that's good. Let's see. And then I just want to take something else and... I'm just gonna like line it up to it. And I don't know, we may not like the colors together. I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know, we're just gonna go for it. Actually, I think I'll use this because it's a smaller piece. We'll try and get rid of smaller pieces first. And then this reaches all the way over to this side, which I think is perfect. So we're going to glue all of this, this will end up hanging off. I think I'm gonna put my thumb there so that I don't put glue there, but I put glue everywhere else. And hopefully I'm in screen well, or well within my filming area. So it's Monday and I don't, I didn't really do anything this weekend. What did I do? Um, my daughter had her prom. I think I was home. Uh, yeah, I was home and it was one of those things where I was just kind of waiting on other people for things to happen in my life. And so I got nothing done. <laughs> I mean, I had videos that I wanted to make. I was like, Ooh, I could make that and I could do that. I want to make a video of that, but I was waiting. I was waiting for things and then I never got to make my videos. So I haven't made a video since Saturday, which isn't, you know, I mean, I kind of don't make videos all the time anyway, so that's okay. But um, 
let's see, a different color maybe. Uh, no, 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 no. I don't know that I want to do polka dot and polka dot right next to each other. See, now this is what I don't want. I don't want to waste my time trying to figure out things, but, uh, you know, I might have to. Okay, so... My thoughts on it are, so I don't know, maybe this isn't going to work as well as I thought it was. I was thinking I could just attach things down, and if your pieces are smaller, I think you probably could attach them down and let them hang off. Do I have a smaller one of these? I don't know that I do. Hmm. Okay, maybe what I'll do is take and cut it right around here and right around here. So there is going to be hang off. And of course, I'm going to end up making more scraps for myself, but <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I'm telling you what, I am going to throw stuff away. And that other line went... Okay, hold on. Oh, I see what I was thinking. Um, all right, I'll just do a sideways cut. Kind of try and line it up at that angle. All right. So now it'll have, you know, some things, smaller pieces where it'll be easier to do a couple things. Now, where did that go? So I'm just going to use my scissors. I, what, I'm not wanting to use my scissors because then my cut, my angles aren't going to be right for using it somewhere else. But, you know, that's okay. That's all right. Yeah, so my daughter had prom, and she looked very pretty. She made a full day of it. She was very tired yesterday. Um, she was at her friend's house getting ready by something like 10.30, I think, in the morning. There were four girls getting ready together and they were doing each other's hair and all that kind of stuff and makeup and nails. So, I mean, I guess that takes a while. And then they went into town and took pictures and then they found some place to eat. They had forgotten to make a reservation. And so, you know, they found some place where they, I guess they didn't need a reservation and did that and then they went to the dance and she said it was fun now I guess I could I don't have to have every different color do I I could do this that would be good give it some I'm just gonna take and Just trim this off a little so I'm not... And look, you guys, I'm throwing that in the trash. Um, anyway, they went and had dinner, and then they went to the dance. And she said it was fun, but, you know, no details, Mom. I don't, I don't get any details. I was hoping she would tell me about something, but, you know, was it fun? Yeah, for the most part, is what I got. <laughs> so, she was home at about, I don't know, 11.30, I think. Her friends were doing a sleepover, but she didn't want to. She was just like so worn out. So she came home. And then she kind of just laid around all day long yesterday, recouping, doing homework. Because, you know, she didn't get any homework time on Saturday since she was doing hair and makeup. But anyway, I remember getting ready for dances when I was that age. And in fact... 
we were going through some papers the other day. Uh, my daughter and I were going through some things, and I found a picture, uh, a Polaroid of me getting ready for one of my proms, standing in front of the dresser in my bedroom doing my hair, of course with a curling iron, uh, big, big 80s hair. And she's like, can I have that? And I'm like, okay. So she has that picture on her desk. I'm like, how sweet. Generally, she's like, I don't care, mom, about most things. But she was like, I want that picture. So I just thought how sweet that was, you know. Normally, she doesn't seem to put any interest in that sort of thing. You know, like, as my memory, you know, why would she care? But I thought it was really sweet that she wanted it. I was like, oh, maybe she does love me. <laughs> Okay, oh, I think this is going to be really pretty, actually. I'm just going to do some trimming. And that's going to go in the trash. And I'm just going to trim this down some so I don't goof it up. Then I'll glue it down and trim it the rest of the way. She, these girls have it right though. I mean, not, I'm not saying they have it right and, and they, people can do whatever they want. Don't get me wrong. But, um, I always went or we always went with a boy and they went just as a group of girls and that's what they wanted to do. It wasn't because nobody asked. And in, in fact, in the past, my daughter has been asked and she's like, um, you know, she just doesn't want the, I guess, pressure of it. She's like, no, I'm just going with my friends and that's what they do, which is, you know, that's nice. They don't have to make it all about something else, you know, but I always went with a boy. Of course, you know, I wanted to, <laughs> I'm like, but I love him. I want to go and dance with him. Um, I don't think, honestly though, I don't think I ever went to a dance with an actual boyfriend, you know, like high school boyfriends. I had a boyfriend occasionally, but they never seemed to coincide. My, you know, two week relationships never seemed to coincide with a dance. So I don't think I ever went to a dance with an actual boyfriend, which is fine. Okay, here's a scrap. And then you guys, I'm telling you, I love this. This is so cute. I'm just gonna take and trim that. Um, but there was this one boy. Did I manage to get him to go to only one dance with me? Oh, there was this one boy I was so infatuated with. I've told my daughter about him. She's like, she knows him by name. <laughs> oh, I finally got him to go with one, to one dance with me. But um, I guess it just wasn't meant to be. Which is fine. Okay, I absolutely love this. I think it is wonderful. Um, okay, so let's put that over here and put that over there. And I have, I was thinking, I was just seeing what I could get out of a couple of, you know, book pages. So I was thinking a, um, a pocket. So let's see. It would be nice if these were in smaller pieces already so that I wasn't having to cut big chunks off at a not right angle, not correct angle, not right, I don't know. Let's get some of this out of the way. And then I'm just gonna make myself some squares of different sizes. We'll see what I end up doing with that. So 
So if I, I want it in a triangle. If I start with a triangle, that's good, right? I can start with a triangle. Let's see if I can line those two corners up with my cutting mat, kind of, or cutting thingy. I'm gonna take a drink of my coffee. It's almost gone. I love coffee, but um, I don't know if you guys go through. So I, I do just regular, you know, cup of a pot of coffee, like old school coffee, and I love it. You know, that's what I prefer. But every once in a while, I don't know if this happens to you guys, but it just doesn't taste right. Um, I always buy the same coffee. And I really like the flavor of it, but sometimes I'm just like, mm, I don't know, it's stale or something isn't quite right. And so, you know, that happened to me this morning. And sometimes I think it's my taste buds getting old. Like, like I'm like, I don't, I don't, I think I don't taste things like I used to. And I don't know, is there some way you can fix your taste buds? <laughs> I don't know. Um, but when I have that happen, I just crave coffee for the rest of the day because I didn't get that taste that I wanted. So today I think I'm going to do kind of here. Let's see. I'm going to take it and cut it where there's a corner. I think that's what I'll do. Um, so when that happens, I get out my French press and so I was going to do that, I think. I get out my French press and I just make myself a, a cup with my French press and that satisfies me. And it's weird. It's the same coffee. It's the same water. It's everything's the same, but it tastes so good. I don't know where my my cup was. Okay, there. Oh, I hope I get this angle right. We'll see. So yeah, I'm having a delicious French press cup of coffee right now. So good. Okay, no, I didn't get it quite right, but that's okay. It can just hang off. I just want it to cover my corner. Here's what I'll do. If you do this and this, it's like don't put glue there, right? So I have dry eye and dry mouth. And sometimes I think that that has a lot to do with how my taste buds or my taster has changed is because of the dry mouth, um, which is a real bummer, you know? It's a real bummer. Where was it? It was right here. And I have to use, you know, some of the, the toothpaste for sensitive teeth um, because I think, you know, I'm a dentist and now I just play one on TV. Um, I always think I know, you know, the dentist is like, you brush too hard. I'm like, you know, honestly, I don't think that's the problem because my teeth are so much like my mom's teeth. And I'm like, you know, I don't know. It's like some of this has got to be hereditary, not just all my fault. I will not accept the blame is what I want to tell him. But um, let's see. Yes, I think that's what I want to do. The only thing is I don't have, ooh, do I? Do I have enough? Do I have enough? It's not the right angle. It's not, no, it's the right angle. It's not enough. I don't think I have any more. Ooh, I do. Oh, I do. I have a big chunk of it. It's going to be so pretty, but I don't know about this. Hmm. It's too small with this one. I 
it's the pattern is too little. This isn't going as fast as I thought it would. I was like, oh, this will be really quick. I'm just going to, and it'll be done. I have, there's this one. Hmm. Maybe I'll do something like, oh, wait, no. What do I want to do? You guys, this is crazy. I'll do this one. Should I? Should I? Should I? I mean, the colors are good, right? Hmm. Um, let me just cut it at an angle. So I just have something more interesting and I figure it out from there. Anyway, I wonder if my my dry mouth causes my taster to be off. Oh, and I use the sensitive teeth toothpaste. And sometimes when um when I've used other toothpaste, it almost burns my mouth. And I do think it's because my mouth is so dry all the time that it's it's like too harsh. But um, the next day, things don't taste right to me. And so I do think toothpaste has something to do with it as well. But it's very sad because, you know, when one of your favorite flavors in the world is coffee and your coffee doesn't taste right, you know, what is the point? <laughs> I just don't know. Now, where was it going to go? It was going to go here. What I'm thinking I'm going to do, and I'll do this probably, because this is going to be a long video getting these done, I think. It's already 22 minutes, and I haven't finished th these two. You know, that's just crazy. What I'm planning on doing is stitching. I was just playing with my um, sewing machine and, you know, seeing what stitches it, it can do. And it can do like the crisscross pattern. And I was thinking it'd be really cute to go along the lines with the crisscross pattern. Oh, you guys, I hate that straight line. What was I thinking? Uh, I don't know. Maybe it'll be fine. Do I have another one of these in a smaller? I don't think so. Um, okay. I'm just going to take and... Oh, here's one. I think I'll do this. Yeah, I hate that straight line, but I'm going to leave it that way. I am going to. It might be perfect, right? I might be like, that's exactly what I meant to do. So yeah, I'm thinking that what I'll do is just do the bases today. And then I'll and show that video. And then I'll stitch around them. And show you guys what they look like after they're all stitched around and then maybe go and do another video of some more things I mean it's not perfectly straight there's a slight angle to it so does that help I think there is anyway maybe if I go like this let's see oh my goodness <laughs> I can't figure it out. Okay, that's what I'll do so that it's not perfectly straight. I mean, I still will have a straight line, but it's all right. I'm going to do it like, I'm going to do it like this because there's that little perforated edge right there. 
So that way I don't have to worry about the perforated edge. My head was probably just in there, sorry. All right. So I want glue here. Yeah, so when I go to the dentist, it, I've always had, um, I have them use, you know, the warm water because the cold water hurts my teeth really bad. Even using sensitive toothpaste, um, it hurts. And the dentist that I go to, well, several years ago, I think kind of just before COVID, the dentist that... I had been going to, he sold his business. And so then the new guy took over and, um, and then COVID started. And so, you know, I was, I don't know what I'm trying to say here or do in fact. So now that angle is going to be a problem. I wasn't thinking. Um, 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 um. Yeah, what was I just thinking? I'm gonna have to put more, more things in there. Okay. That's all right. That's all right. So oh my gosh, that's gonna be terrible. What can I do here? I'm gonna have to figure out that angle. You guys, I just did a really silly thing right there. Okay, what pattern do I want? I want this pattern. And if I... I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to cut an angle. I don't know what to do. It's not going to be right. Oh, I guess it... I don't know. Okay, that worked. That worked. Anyway, so this new dentist, he re remodeled the um, dentist office, you know? And he got rid of the warm water. Like the only water they have when they are doing your teeth is cold water. And and I said, I, I remember being like, you did what? <laughs> I said, what about people who have sensitive teeth? And they said, well, we have these rinses. You can just like take this rinse and it, it'll numb you. Well, it's... Only somebody who doesn't deal with sensitive teeth would suggest that. It, it doesn't it doesn't matter. You still have to have warm water. And so I'm like, oh my gosh, you guys. Ah, frustrating. My daughter loves this dentist's office though. She's like, they're so nice. Yeah, they have cold water. <laughs> and this I've been having to do that since I was in my like early 20s I remember talking to a lady one time and she was like my husband uses warm water when she he rinses his mouth when he brushes his teeth and I'm like um so do I <laughs> she goes that's just weird that's not refreshing and I'm like I know it's perfect what else can we talk about Because, you know, prom and dentists. Okay, I don't love this one as much just because of my straight line, but I still like it. What, how much time is there? 29. You're like, that's fine. Actually, let's do, I'll do the, um, oops, that's, that's the backing. I have backing already. Let's do a belly band or whatever you want to call it. We'll do it in... What's 
What's, 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 what were we doing? What do I have? I haven't used any of this color. I've got some of this. I don't know if those two go together very well. There's that. And some of that. Oh, and some of this. Let's see what we can come up with. We'll just go for it. Does that fit? That fits. And I think this side doesn't need glue, so I'll just put glue everywhere else. My son's supposed to come over for a haircut. He's, he's, it's actually going to happen this time. He always has a reason why, which is fine. I, I'm totally fine with that. He, um, he always feels guilty and I'm like, Colton, it is totally okay. You know, he's like, well, I always say I'm coming and then I don't come and I feel bad. And I'm like, yeah, well, it stresses him out too. I'm like, don't, there's no reason to stress. And gas is so expensive and he's got a, a pickup truck, you know, so it's a gas guzzler. And um, I'm like, don't worry about it, but he needs a haircut and I, I cut his hair, so. Like, just come on over, kid. Whenever you come is fine. If you don't, that's fine too. I don't want to put those together. So let's see. I think we'll do, that would be cool, I think. But maybe I want to do, I think I'll do this. And I'll go from corner to corner. So that'll cover a large area. Um, um, oh gosh, I can use that. You guys, this is not using scraps. This is making scraps. Oh, Stephanie. And then you have to figure out what... There. <laughs> I think it's this one. <laughs> oh, either one of them works. Okay. Okay. I don't know what I was thinking. Does one bigger than the other? No. Okay. We'll just do this. So that's kind of wasted, but I, I don't care. You know, it needs to be done. I, I don't I don't care. I think what I'll do is that. So I have something to hold on to. And then I'll just do a bunch of glue. I would like to just go over and um, sew these and just do some editing and edit out the sewing or, you know, like the time that I'm sewing. But I just think that the sewing is going to take a long time because of the different stitch that I'm going to try and use. I always have these thoughts that I'm going to get through a large portion of something and then I don't. Isn't that silly? Let's see if I do about here with that angle, it should, should get quite a bit of it. Hopefully I did it well enough so that it covers. I did, okay, good enough. I just. So maybe I'll try, I mean, cause that'll be, the video won't be real long for you. The only problem for me is the time it takes to upload after I've cut a bit of the um, video out. It really takes a long time for the upload. Like, probably not until Tuesday will it go up because it takes hours for some reason for it to upload after that. I do it, you know, in YouTube Studio, and I'm sure there's a better way to do it. And someday I will get that figured out, but 
I don't know when that will be. Okay, I'll put one more thing down here. Some polka dots sound good. If it works out. Is it big enough? I think it is. Let's see. Um, so if I go like... I want it, oh gosh. See, this is probably not as hard as I'm making it. It just, the angles confuse me and I'm afraid I'm gonna end up cutting more off than, or the angle's not gonna be right. I don't know. We're just gonna find out. Okay, that'll work. Phew, no? Yes, yes, let's turn it over, but yeah, just barely. Oh my goodness, I don't need glue down here. get it in the light so that I can see where I'm cutting. I barely got this one to be the right, you know, amount of paper. <laughs> Just barely, barely, barely worked. All right, so I think what I'll do I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna sew them and come back and show you guys what they look like. Okay, you guys, that took me a little while. I don't know how long it took for sure, but um, this is what I have come up with. So I, I haven't cut all the little threads off yet. So what I have is on these, I did, it's a crisscross stitch and there are two options on mine. One is like a little one and one's a little fatter one. The little one looked better. I practiced on another piece of paper. So there's that one. And then This one, my straight line, I mean, it turned out okay, right? It's fine. I did just a straight stitch around. It might have looked better with a zigzag. I don't know. Um, so these are just bases. They need to be um, embellished with things. I don't know what I would embellish them with um, at this point. I don't have anything. Um, I just thought I would come on and, and do this. And then I thought I will ink them and go from there. Uh, I did not use very many of my scraps, you guys. I have a huge pile over there. So I'm thinking maybe I will try and do a much bigger, you know, like master board kind. I still think that I wanna do the stitching on it though. I don't know. We'll see, but I don't know if I'll do that on camera or not. I'm really slow at collaging. Um, so I have never done that. As far as I can remember, I've never done that on camera because I'm very slow at it. So I may or may not. We'll see. Um, I should have done the back too. I backed them with just some cream colored cardstock. I do like them inked. Quit 
quick, quick, quick. I'm trying to hurry. Long video. So my my camera, you know, I record my camera. I think it says an hour at this point. So um, I don't know. This will probably end up being uh, on tomorrow on YouTube because of how long it will take me to do the uploads. But that is what we came up with. I hope you like them, you guys. I think that they're really cool. This one's my favorite. Very cool. I don't know what I'll put on top of them. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.